Bible reading. Seven core. Genesis, chapter one, verse one. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Genesis, chapter one, verse two. The earth was without form, and void, and darkness was over the face of the deep. And the spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Genesis, chapter one, verse three. And God said, "Let there be light," and there was light. Malachi, chapter four, verse two. But for you who fear my name, the sun of righteousness shall rise with healing in its wings. You shall go out leaping. Like calves from the stall. John, chapter one, verse four. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. First Peter, chapter two, verse nine. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for His own possession, that you may proclaim. The excellencies of Him who called you out of the darkness into His marvelous light. Genesis, chapter three, verse fifteen. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and her offspring. He shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. Genesis, chapter thirteen. Verse eight. Then Abraham said to Lot, "Let there be no strife between you and me, and between your herdsmen and my herdsmen, for we are kinsmen." Genesis, chapter twenty-four, verse sixty-three. And Isaac went out to meditate in the field toward evening, and he lifted up his eyes and saw, and behold. There were camels coming. Genesis, chapter thirty-seven, verse one. Joseph's dreams. Jacob lived in the land of his father's sojournings, in the land of Canaan. Genesis, chapter thirty-seven, verse two. These are the generations of Jacob. Joseph, being seventeen years old, was pasturing the flock with his brothers. He was a boy with the sons of Bilhah and Zilpah, his father's wives, and Joseph brought bad report of them to their father. Genesis chapter thirty-seven, verse three. Now Israel loved Joseph more than any other of his sons, because he was the son of his old age. And he made him a robe of many colors. Genesis, chapter thirty-seven, verse four. But when his brothers saw that their father loved him more than all his brothers, they hated him and could not speak peacefully to him. Genesis, chapter thirty-seven, verse five. Now Joseph had a dream, and when he told it to his brothers, they hated him. Even more. Genesis, chapter thirty-seven, verses six through seven. He said to them, "Hear this dream that I have dreamed. Behold, we were binding sheaves in the field, and behold, my sheaf arose and stood upright. And behold, your sheaves gathered around it and bowed down to my sheaf." Genesis, chapter thirty-seven, verse eight. His brothers said to him, "Are you indeed to reign over us, or are you indeed to rule over us?" So they hated him even more for his dreams and for his words. Genesis, chapter thirty-seven, verse nine. Then he dreamed another dream, and told it to his brothers, and said, "Behold." I have dreamed another dream. Behold, the sun, the moon, 
and eleven stars were bowing down to me. Genesis chapter 37 verse 10 But when he told it to his father and to his brothers, his father rebuked him and said to him, What is this dream that you have dreamed? Shall I and your mother and your brothers indeed come to bow ourselves to the ground before you? Genesis chapter 37 verse 11 and his brothers were jealous of him, but his father kept the saying in mind. 1 Samuel chapter 3, verse 1 The Lord calls Samuel. Now the boy Samuel was ministering to the Lord in the presence of Eli. And the word of the Lord was rare in those days. There was no frequent vision. 1 Samuel Chapter 3, verse 2 At that time, Eli, whose eyesight had begun to grow dim so that he could not see, was lying down in his own place. 1 Samuel, chapter 3, verse 3 The lamp of God had not yet gone out, and Samuel was lying down in the temple of the Lord, where the ark of God was. 1 Samuel, chapter 16, verse 13. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brothers. And the Spirit of the Lord rushed upon David from that day forward. And Samuel rose up and went to Ramah. 2 Kings, chapter 2, verse 9. When they had crossed, Elijah said to Elisha, Ask what I shall do for you before I am taken from you. And Elisha said, Please, let there be a double portion of your spirit on me. Daniel chapter 1 verse 8 Daniel's Faithfulness But Daniel resolved that he would not defile himself with the king's food or with the wine that he drank. Therefore, he asked the chief of the eunuchs to allow him to not defile himself. Daniel chapter 1 verse 9 And God gave Daniel favor and compassion in the sight of the chiefs of the eunuchs. Daniel chapter 6 verse 10 When Daniel knew that the document had been signed, he went to his house where he had windows in his upper chamber open toward Jerusalem. He got down on his knees three times a day and prayed and gave thanks before his God as he had done previously. Genesis chapter 6 verse 14 Make yourself an ark of gopher wood Make rooms in the ark, and cover it inside and out with pitch. Acts chapter 1 verse 14 All these, with one accord, were devoting themselves to prayer, together with the woman and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. Acts chapter 2 verse 42 the fellowship of the believers. And they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and the fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. Acts chapter 2, verse 46. And day by day, attending the temple together and breaking bread in their homes, they received their food with glad and generous hearts. Exodus Chapter 3, verse 18. And they will listen to your voice, and you and the elders of Israel shall go to the king of Egypt and say to him, The Lord, the God of the Hebrews, has met with us. And now, please let us go three days' journey into the wilderness, that we may sacrifice 
to the Lord our God. Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14 Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. Matthew chapter 16 verse 16 Simon Peter replied, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Psalm chapter 5 verse 3 O Lord, in the morning I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. Psalm chapter 17 verse 3 You have tried my heart, you have visited me by night, you have tested me and you will find nothing. I have purposed that my mouth will not transgress. Psalm chapter 18 verse 1 The Lord is my rock and my fortress. To the choir master, a psalm of David, the servant of the Lord, who addressed the words of this psalm to the Lord on the day when the Lord delivered him from the hand of all his enemies and from the hand of Saul. He said, I love you, O Lord, my strength. Philippians chapter 1 verse 9 And it is my prayer that your love may abound more and more with knowledge and all discernment. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 16 Do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's Spirit dwells in you? Galatians chapter 2 verse 20 I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 30 And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Acts chapter 1 verse 1 The Promise of the Holy Spirit In the first book, O Theophilus, I have dealt with all that Jesus began to do and teach. Acts chapter 1 verse 3 He presented himself alive to them after his suffering by many proofs, appearing to them during forty days and speaking about the kingdom of God. Acts chapter 1 verse 8 But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. Genesis chapter 3 verse 18 Thorns and thistles it shall bring forth for you, and you shall eat the plants of the field. Mark chapter 1 verse 35 Jesus preaches in Galilee And rising very early in the morning, while it was still dark, he departed and went out to a desolate place, and there he prayed. Mark chapter 14 verse 32 Jesus prays in Gethsemane And they went to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to his disciples, Sit here while I pray. Acts chapter 10 verse 6 He is lodging with one son, a tandem, whose house is by the sea. Acts chapter 16 verse 13 And on the Sabbath day, we went outside the gate to the riverside, where we 
we supposed there was a place of prayer, and we sat down and spoke to the woman who had come together.